What's up guys, Random Razor here with another tech video for you guys today. And today, I bring you guys a quick review of the OtterBox Preserver Series case for the iPhone 5S. So of course, without further ado, let's slice this open, see what we get, slap it on the iPhone 5S, and give you guys my quick in-depth review. So taking a quick look at the packaging, comes in your standard OtterBox retail packaging here, nothing too spectacular about that. Popping this open, I uh, would like to make a quick note that the case does come in pieces from my experience with the iPhone 5 model. And the reason being is OtterBox does recommend if you're not using this case, do store this case uh, with the back plate off rather not attached. Um, I think that just helps preserve the waterproofness of the case for future use. You also have a quick instruction manual on how to use the case, installing it and maintaining it as well. And the last thing we get is you have an optional lanyard which you can attach to the case for added security. So taking a closer look at the case itself, the Preserver case is a new line of case or series of case that Arbox has released, I think a couple months ago, that is designed to be a waterproof case like the Armor case, but in much more slimmer and consumer friendly packet. Taking a look at the interior of the case before we install the iPhone on, the interior does feature these rubberized grooves on the side of the case to ensure the iPhone doesn't scratch against the plastic interior. And on the back plate here, we also have a very large foam pad to cushion the iPhone and secure it in place. Surrounding the back plate here is, as you guys can see, is a large rubber gasket that seals your iPhone from dust, debris, as well as water. And like many of OtterBox's higher-end cases, this does feature a built-in screen protector right into the case so you don't have to install one. And for those of you wondering how sound comes through, there's actually a membrane that covers the earpiece as well as a speakerphone and microphone on the bottom here that lets sound through but keeps water out. So to install this on the iPhone, grab the front piece here, grab the iPhone 5, place it on top, should just slide into place like then so. Then take the back piece, place it on the back here, and snap it into place. And just a quick note, with any case, and OtterBox does recommend this as well, these are mass-produced products, so there may be defects out there. So do ensure that you do test out this case in the water before you actually put your phone in. So before we continue, let's look at the biggest feature that the 5S model from the Preserver series line offers. That is the cutout for the Touch ID. Now, it's not an actual cutout. There's actually a membrane on top of the Touch ID button to obviously give its waterproof properties. So we'll replace our thumb on top of the button here. And unlocks. Perfect. But let's try again with the other finger because I did set two fingerprints on here and locks the phone pretty easily. So there's a little quick example of the Touch ID working with the Preserver case. The second biggest feature of the Preserver series case, of course, is the waterproofness that it offers. So let's test it out in the sink here. Turn on some water. And we'll fill it up a bit and let it go. So OtterBox does claim the case is waterproof up to 6.6 .6 feet of water, which isn't really deep, but you know, if you're caught in the rain or you accidentally drop it in a puddle or in the snow, you definitely can count on this case to keep your iPhone nice and dry. So the iPhone has been underwater for a few minutes now. We'll just turn it on underwater. Unfortunately, the Touch ID or the touchscreen will not work um, underwater. Not sure the exact science behind that, but just want to let you guys know for those who want to play with your phone in the pool for some reason. We'll just lift it up. As you guys can see, the iPhone still works. Uh, the screen is a bit wet, hence why the touchscreen isn't as reactive, but or responsive, sorry. And uh, but nonetheless, the phone does work. All right, so I dried the iPhone or the case on the outside as best I could. So when we do pop this open, none of the water flies in. Let's just take a little quick look at the port. It doesn't look like there's any water in there, or the headphone jack. You guys can see the iPhone is bone dry, so waterproof properties in this case does actually work. So taking a quick overview of the case and what it has to offer. As I mentioned, the front of the case features a built-in screen protector as well as a built-in membrane for the Touch ID function. We also have a cuddle for the earpiece, FaceTime camera, as well as the light sensors. And of course, all this is covered up with plastic as well as a mesh membrane for the earpiece. On the side of the case here, we do have covers for the volume keys. And they also have the plus and minus sign engraved right into them, which is a nice aesthetic look. We also have a cover for the vibrate ringer switch. And these two little bulges actually help give you better grip when you're using the case pressing the buttons. So also a cover for the power button as well. The entire right side of the case is covered up with this nice two-tone look. On the bottom of the case here, we have two individual cutouts for the microphone and speakerphone with a very nice perforated look. And just like the earpiece, there is a kind of mesh foam layer that protects the iPhone from water or water entering the case, but lets sound through. Both these covers do open up, left one to give you access to the headphone jack. You guys can kind of see the rubber gasket that goes around the cover here to protect or to seal the case from water entering in. And of course, the other one here to give you access to the lightning port to charge and sync your iPhone. 
Finally on the back of the case here, the entire back is of course all covered up with the back plate that you guys saw earlier when I installed it. We do have the AutoBox logo engraved on the bottom here and the entire back does have a very nice white matte finish which definitely keep a cleaner look than a glossy finish. The camera lens, flash, and secondary microphone are all covered up so they are waterproof, dustproof, and all that sort but you still they do still function uh, without any issue. So just a quick look at the camera in live view mode. No issues at all, color and everything is still crisp. Overall guys, my first impressions on the Preserver series case, specifically for the iPhone 5S, is very positive. It works as advertised, the Touch ID functions, and it protects your entire iPhone from dust, debris, drops, and water. For those of you subscribers who follow my videos, I did make a review video of the iPhone 5 model of this, and takes the same qualities as that, as that case, but the biggest difference of course is the Touch ID function which uh, gives iPhone 5S users the ability to use. I do like how OtterBox introduced a waterproof case that isn't as bulky as the Armour case, but definitely a lot more consumer friendly, which is why this is one of my favorite OtterBox cases of the entire line. This particular model here is the Glacier model, which is kind of like a hybrid white and gray two-tone look. They do have a few other colors, such as an all-black look. I believe there's a green, blue, as well as a pink and silver, but I'll just post a little quick pic right here for you guys to see. In terms of any cons or things I don't like about the case, I will say that the membrane that overlaps the Touch ID here kind of overlaps the screen just a little bit. It's kind of hard to tell but um, it doesn't look as nice and kind of hope that AutoBox can incorporate this membrane into the plastic screen shoot here a little bit more nicer but nonetheless the fact that it works and doesn't really interfere with the phone is definitely a nice plus. In conclusion guys, I definitely recommend the OtterBox Preserver Series case for the iPhone 5. I like how OtterBox incorporated the Touch ID function with a waterproof case and overall it takes the great aspects and design of the iPhone 5 model into the iPhone 5S model without changing anything too drastic other than the home button on the bottom. Even though the iPhone's all covered up, I like how OtterBox designed this case to complement the iPhone design while still looking like an iPhone even with a full case on, giving you all the protection that it offers but still identifying your device as an iPhone. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video and that's my quick review of the OtterBox Preserver Series case for the iPhone 5S. And as always, I'd like to thank OtterBox for shooting this out for review and I will see you all in the next video.